This training video is a capture of an interactive online training module. While this training video provides you with valuable content, the optimal experience can only be had by navigating to the Extreme Networks website and accessing this interactive training through our educational services portal. Welcome to the Extreme Exos Universal Port online tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll focus on timer profiles. Upon completion of this tutorial, you'll be able to describe Universal Port and how it operates, explain the benefits of Universal Port as an Extreme Exos feature, compare and contrast types of profiles and triggers, configure a Universal Port timer profile on an Extreme Network switch. We've programmed this module to provide you with the most flexibility and control over the content. You'll see this menu at the beginning of each section. You can click on any section to link directly into that material, or you can use the table of contents to the left. If you're returning to this module, you can pick up where you left off. If this is your first time here, you can choose to move through it sequentially, or even test your knowledge by trying the quiz as a pretest, then going into any section you like. The choice is yours. Please make a selection now. Let's start by comparing and contrasting a couple of key terms. What is Universal Port? Universal Port is an Extreme Exos feature designed for automatic edge port provisioning. Universal Port Manager is a component of the Ridgeline Management Platform. Ridgeline isn't going to be covered in this tutorial. This presentation is focusing on the Universal Port feature in Extreme Exos software and how it can save time and improve configuration accuracy by automating edge port provisioning. A profile is a file with command line interface commands or scripts embedded in it. Universal Port profiles are used to change a port's configuration. These profiles can run statically or be triggered dynamically on a switch. In Extreme Exos software, UPM is used in the CLI as an abbreviation for the Universal Port feature. Profiles make devices and networks extensible. Some benefits of using Universal Port include the following. Provisioning different devices requiring different configurations. Enforcing regulations for roaming users. Automating defense in case of a security policy violation. Triggering rule-based identity management policies triggering time of day policies. When you create and configure a new profile, you're basically writing a script within a profile that can be triggered statically or dynamically by system events. Here's an example of a profile that will detect voice over IP. For more information on the rules, commands, and variables that apply to policies, see Profile Configuration Guidelines in the Extreme Exos Concepts Guide. You can configure these features using a Universal Port Profile, Port Parameters, Access Control List, Power over Ethernet Settings, Link Layer Discovery Protocol, Virtual Local Area Networks, Quality of Service. Some Universal Port Profile metrics to keep in mind are as follows. Only one profile runs on a port at a time. Profile length should be less than 5,000 characters. The number of profiles on a switch should be around 128 or less, and the number of timers on a switch should be 32 or less. With Universal Port, the network responds to dynamic trigger events by executing profiles or scripts that the administrator has deployed in network switches. Triggers fall into these categories. Timer, device detection, user authentication, identity management, and event management system events. A profile that uses a time trigger is called a time of day profile. Time of day profiles are not limited to non persistent capable CLI commands and can use any command in the Extreme Exos command line interface. To unconfigure changes made in a time of day profile, you must create another time of day profile to make those changes. You might use a time trigger to launch a profile to disable guest VLAN access shut down a wireless service, or power down a port after business hours. 
Time triggers enable profiles to perform timed backups for configurations, policies, and statistics. Anything that needs to happen on a regular basis or at a specific time can be incorporated into a time of day profile. This is what makes them so useful. There are several different configuration types. We can do timer configurations, device discovery, user authentication, identity management, or we can trigger off of EMS events. Let's configure a timer trigger. Click on the stopwatch when you're ready. A large automobile dealership wants to provide 20 phone and data ports in their new waiting room as a courtesy to their customers. It's for use by customers while waiting during service and maintenance appointments. The dealership also has a new Go Green initiative. They purchased 20 IP phones and a Summit X250E power over Ethernet switch from Extreme Networks. Let's help them meet both objectives by using universal port timers on their new power over Ethernet switch. Here are the steps we will follow. Because the dealership is open 7 days a week from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., we'll put the timer on a 12-hour shift, 12 hours on and 12 hours off. I'll configure the evening power over Ethernet timer, and then you'll do the daytime universal port timer configuration. Using this command, I'm going to ensure the inline power feature is globally enabled on ports 1 through 20, where the power over Ethernet voice over IP phones plug in. You'll see later how the universal port profiles override this setting temporarily. Let's create a profile for the evening power over Ethernet setting. Let's call it Evening PoE. Next, I'll create a log entry called Starting Evening, and then I'll disable inline power to ports 1 through 20. At the very end of the profile, you'll always insert a period. Next, I'm going to create the UPM timer called Night. Then I'm going to configure the timer and attach it to the profile that I made in the last part called Evening PoE. Finally, I'm going to configure the time trigger for the timer and I'm going to do it in a date time format for a duration of 12 hours which is 86,400 seconds. Okay now it's your turn. You're going to create a timer based universal port profile for the day. We'll walk through the steps together but here's what you're going to do at a high level. Create the UPM profile, create the timer event, attach the timer event to the UPM profile, and then configure the timer trigger. Let's get started. On the Power over Ethernet capable Summit X250E switch, enable inline power to ports 1 through 20. Then you're going to use the show command to show the inline power has been enabled. Create a profile for the daytime power over Ethernet setting by following the command shown. Next, you'll create a timer, then you'll attach the timer to the UPM profile, and finally you'll configure the timer trigger. Create a profile for the daytime power over Ethernet setting by following the command shown. Next, you'll create a timer, then you'll attach the timer to the UPM profile, and finally you'll configure the timer trigger.
Okay, great. So now let's verify the night and day timer profiles that we've just created. Let's go over it again. We created UPM profiles for evening POE and day POE, created timer events for night and day, attached the timer events to the UPM profiles, and then configured the night and day timer triggers. Verify the timer triggers we created are on the switch by using the Show UPM Timers command. Notice how this information displays. Verify the UPM profiles are on the switch by using the Show UPM Profile command. Notice how this information displays. Display the switch history of UPM profile actions by using the Show UPM History command. Notice the way this information displays. Display how the switch logs UPM profile actions by using the show log command. Notice how the switch displays this information. Display how the switch handles inline power by using the show inline power command. Notice how this information displays. Here are some additional timer commands that you might find helpful. This is the end of this training module. Visit the Extreme Networks website for information about our other exciting networking products.